Welcome to Community Connections. I'm Tom Lauchs, and today in the studio I have Morgan Vanderhei, and she is from Visit Wisconsin Rapids, and we're going to talk about all the activities that are going to happen this fall in the Southwood County area. So let's talk about them. I know the Grand Affair is coming up mm -hmm. within a, two days here. Yep, on, that's going to be Sunday. happening on Sunday, so that'll be very exciting. Lots of different things going on downtown. All right. Well, why don't you go through all the list, and then we'll kind of go back through some of them and talk about them. So okay. there's a big list that you have put together in your your news release uh, a week ago. So go ahead. Yeah, I produce an e-newsletter quarterly, and the fall one is always have a hard time fitting everything in because being from our area, harvest season is a really great time in the Wisconsin Rapids area, and there's a lot going on. And this e-newsletter just names a few. Um, the Grand Affair, which you mentioned, various art exhibits at the Alexander, Alexander House. Actually, this weekend, Central Wisconsin BMX will be hosting the Badger State National, so you'll see a lot of those people in town. Historic Point Boss has the Harvest Fair and the Spirit Walks that go on. Cranberry Marsh Tours, we have the beautiful Cranberry Highway, which is gorgeous during harvest season with all the fall colors over those red berries. Um, the Wisconsin River Woodcarver Show has a show on the 20th of September. Then Derek Hughes Recreational Park has some races going on to wrap up their season. The final alarm ceremony, that happens in October. Altenburg's, of course, has a ton of fall fun, you know, the pumpkin patches. Actually, Harold was at the office this morning and dropped off some pumpkins, and he said it's coming along great out there. Rinky's down on the farm, also has a lot of fun, f fun family things for the fall. We also have Warren's Cranberry Festival that happens, you know, the end of September, but people always call to get information from us since we're so close to Warren's and cranberry focused. Splash of Red Cranberry Tours, which are from Pittsville FFA. The 17th Annual Nakusa Giant Pumpkin Fest. Cross Countries for WIA. We hold the state championship here in Wisconsin Rapids. McMillan Memorial Library has a ton going on as long as, as, as well as the Performing Arts Center. So there's a lot going on the next couple months. All right, well, that's going to keep you guys busy. Yes. And people have information, want more information mm -hmm. about these events. You guys have brochures available at the office. Can you uh, let people know uh, where you're located and how they can contact you? Yeah, we're located right on A Street. And for those of you that are local or watching this, if you know where Four Star Family Restaurant is, we're basically right next door to them. And you can contact us also by phone. 715-422-4650 and you'll get me, Morgan. Otherwise our website, visit wisrapids.com. Both of those have a ton of resources. Our website is full of things and our office as well. Like you mentioned, we have a ton of materials on things and if we don't have something you're looking for, we can help you find it. Alrighty, so not just the activities that we listed here for the mm -hmm. fall. Uh, feel free to call your office so you can give other ideas that are within mm -hmm. the community uh, that are going on. Uh, these are just the highlights. There, yes. there are plenty of other activities, but you also have this uh, guide of a calendar of mm -hmm. events. How can uh, someone uh, get, uh, get this? Is it distributed also around the town? Some area businesses do carry the guide. We have them at all of our local hotels too, so they have copies. Or our office is a great place to pick them up. Or if you're not able to pick them up or you know someone from out of the area that you think would benefit, you can sign up online to have one mailed to you. So, and also when you do that mailing, you can request any other information that you're interested in about the area and we can make sure we get that to you as well. Alrighty. Well, uh, looking at this, uh, splash of colors that you would put on here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about Glacial Lake Cranberries. Uh, that's a big part of our area here. The harvest is mm -hmm. coming up. I don't think they've harvested yet. Uh, looks no, like we're going to have a good harvest as long as our weather stays good. Mm -hmm. We don't have any hail. So yes. <laughs> don't want that. Um, but uh, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the tours that they're going to have. I know uh, Phil Brown mm -hmm. has that over there uh, as well as all the cranberry marshes have areas to go and visit. Maybe you can just touch base, touch, uh, give us a little information. Yeah, Glacial Lake is the one that offers the tours that we suggest mostly to people because it's really all encompassing. They have a little visitor center out there and Mary and Phil do a really wonderful job of giving the background and the history of why we're in cranberry country. And their marsh, you know, family owned and it's been in operation since 1873. So 
that's quite a long time for them to keep it going and you know they start out the tour with giving that background of not only their marsh but the area and then they'll transition to getting everyone on the berry bus and they actually take those groups right out on the marsh so they can see you know touch the berries and we I've taken the tour myself and it's great and everyone that comes to see it I and mean, we have people from overseas who come just to see cranberries so their tour is really kind of all-encompassing plus it's just so beautiful out there we also have the Splash of Red Tours, which is kind of a different angle because it's given by students. We have the only cranberry science class, and these students use this opportunity for tours to raise money for different scholarships or field trip programs, and they even provide a cranberry-themed lunch. So this one is kind of a little bit more hands-on educational because the students are learning and then the tour participants are also learning at the same time. So it's nice that we have two kind of different tours to offer people. Well, great. It sounds like a lot of fun to, to get out and see cranberries. A lot of people from other areas come? Yes, a lot from other areas. And actually, it's June when I start getting a lot of contacts about people wanting to know when harvest and when should they come, what's the best colors from mm -hmm. all over. Now, if people need a place to stay, uh, your office can tell hotels, yes. give, give them ideas, campgrounds, mm -hmm. you name it. All sorts of accommodations, whatever they're looking for, you know, depending. We have a lot of great innkeepers in the area and they all have something that will fit for everyone who comes. So do you see a lot of people that would call that are from out of town call your office to find out more about amenities like that in Wisconsin Rapids? Both phone calls and emails. You know, I receive mailings, emails, mailings daily where I'm sending out information and people do call as well if they'll say, you know, they're coming for the weekend, this is the type of accommodations they're looking for, this is what they're going to do, where should they stay? I mean, they, they call us all the time, which is great. We're happy to hear from them. Great. A uh, couple other big things that are happening, again, you talked about Harold Altenberg mm -hmm. came by your office, Pumpkins, we all know that is a season favorite mm -hmm. amongst the kids and families. Do you know when he's going to open? He usually does, um, you know, later in September yep. is when he starts. Okay. So he hasn't given me quite the date, but he knows okay. it's coming. And we'll be, we update those things on our Facebook page. And okay. if you look, Harold does also have one as well. Okay. So, you know, make sure to keep it posted on those. But yeah, it's a fall favorite. I mean, his Harold's pumpkin patch is just something to do in this area. Okay. And not to mention all the things he does for Halloween, you know, with the, he's got the spooky mm -hmm. cornstarch walk and the candy drop and all those things going on. And he just wants everyone to have a good time. I mean, he really, they really put their heart and souls out there into that. And so families can enjoy that fall fun. Yeah, it's a great place. I get mm -hmm. to drive by it every day. And been seeing a lot of the orange pumpkins mm -hmm. grow on And he on also does home. a photo contest. I don't know if any oh. people are aware of that. Um, we do one for the visitor's guide and okay. Harold does one just in the fall and each prize is different. Sometimes it's a plane ride from our local airport where you can see all the beautiful colors in fall or a giant pumpkin. So I suggest anyone going out there if they get some really awesome family fun photos that they submit to Harold's contest and then submit to ours as well because they could be featured in the visitor's guide. So they could just uh, email it to to, to your place? Um, Harold's, I believe they get submitted on Facebook or okay. you contact him, but with us you can submit them online to our website. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Sounds great. Uh, the Coosa Giant Pumpkin Fest, mm -hmm. that's a biggie. Yes. Uh, it's coming up uh, the first week in October. Yep, it's always the first full week in October. And I believe it just grows every year. Um, I know that they're all busy with preparations. I just got some information the other day, but it's definitely a sight to see. You have your normal, you know, festival eats and treats there, but the pumpkins that they carve, I mean, it's pretty amazing to see those giant pumpkins and the things that they're able to make out of them. Yeah, they, they have a lot of different activities. They used to have a car show. I don't have that list here, they, um, but <laughs> I know me. There, you know, there's so much on those two days packed. The weighing is a big part of the mm -hmm. pumpkin fest. It always has been, but I see that it grows. It's not just pumpkins again. It's gourds and squash. You know, there's and arts and crafts and different yeah. foods and products that people make. It is just growing, and you know, who doesn't want to see them jump, drop a giant pumpkin? That's true. From the air. I mean, who doesn't want to see that? <laughs> right, and they, and they normally fill it with candy. So something uh, or something in yeah, there. I, I remember. It's a cool festival. Mm -hmm. So good. Well, that'll be coming up, so everyone needs to mark their calendars uh, on the first week yep, of October. October 4th through the 5th. And uh, it's right in the coup, so, so mm -hmm. you can't miss it. Uh, Historic Point Bass, uh, they do a show here uh, every month as well, and uh, uh, they talk about their exciting things that they're having, and uh, uh, they have the Harvest Fair coming up, mm -hmm. uh, if you guys are watching this here uh, before that. Uh, it's, they have uh, other activities as well. Yes, that'll be on the 13th, and they have, you know, apple coring, corn shelling, um, 
sauerkraut making along with a lot of produce for sale. All their buildings will be open for tours so you really get to know everything on the grounds and it's a great fall kickoff for them and just gets everybody a little bit more familiar with what they have to offer. And then later in October they do the spirit walks which is kind of a fun Halloween twist where they you know have different reenactors telling stories from past mm -hmm. and it's a cool thing for take the kids or the families out and enjoy something for Halloween that's a little bit more educational maybe than scary. True. So. And earlier we, we mentioned Harold, I don't want to forget about uh, uh, down on the farm as well. Yes. Uh, they have a little bit different atmosphere mm -hmm. there, uh, but they sell pumpkins as well. Uh, but it, a lot of fun things. I know they have uh, animals to see. Yes, uh, Rankies down on the farm is growing each year with what they're doing, and it's really exciting to have two different ones that kind of have their own spin on things yeah. to diversify for what families could do. They always have a lot of animals for the kids to interact with, which is really good. Who, what kid doesn't like a petting zoo? Mm -hmm. And I know that they sell a lot of more like products. They decorations. They're really into the crafts where you can get some something that's handmade to take home with you. So they're both things that are definitely worth checking out. All right. Do you see the the Warren's Cranberry Fest? I know it's about an hour from here, mm -hmm. but does that help uh, this area as well, even though it's it's down south from us? I believe it does somewhat because it's such a large festival that they do have overflow, and people tend to, there's some of them that enjoy the festival but don't want to be so close to where it's mm -hmm. kind of over-concentrated with people. They tend to stay here and take their cranberry tours here and then maybe go to Warren's for a day. So we do see an influx okay. of people that you know, maybe spend their time of their vacation here and just use that as part of their vacation. So that's great for our Wisconsin Rapids area. It's great for Wisconsin You Rapids bet. Area. And uh, Warren's Festival last week in September usually, yes. isn't it? On a Friday mm -hmm. and a Saturday? Maybe yeah. even Sunday. But I think it, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so yeah, and that's a, a, a festival that has hundreds and thousands of people that go mm -hmm. to that uh, just right down, uh, not too mm -hmm. far from Jellystone. Yep area. Uh, basically if they're taken away here, 173, and they turn off and before Toma and you're there. So it's a great place. Uh, any of the other activities that uh, that are big ones in the area that you'd like to talk about? Well, I think we've got to talk about the big pole attempt. Um, if For those of you who aren't familiar with it, last year we had one here and they did succeed in breaking the Guinness World Record for, mm. I think they had five no, I gotta look because I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Five four-tier pyramids last year. Well, this year they weren't to break their own record. So not only will they have ski teams from all over the Midwest, our Wisconsin Rapids aqua skiers are joining in on the fun this year. So 72 people, six four-tier high pyramids pulled behind one boat is with the, the record that they need to break. They need to succeed that too for a certain amount of time that they have to be, a certain amount of length, a certain amount of time for it to qualify. And that'll be happening on Saturday, September 20th, and they start at 10 a.m. So and if for some reason they get it right away, they'll start to try to break other fun ski records and things, and th that just won't be going on that day. Over the lunch period, they'll be taking a break, and something really cool that's coming into water skiing is adaptive water skiing. So providing opportunities for people who maybe have a certain disability and have water skied or wanted to still try, they'll be showcasing how that's growing too during the noon hour, which would be really cool for everyone to come out and support because our Wisconsin Rapids Aqua Skiers are very supportive of that growth with the Wisconsin Water Ski Federation, and then the World Water Ski Federation, and they want to bring more light to the fact that you know anyone is able to do it, and I'm really excited to see what they can come up with. So yeah, that's neat. Uh, I know we're going to cover that here, our mm -hmm. CCA Media. I'm sending uh, an individ individual out there to tape that, and uh, something we we didn't do. Uh, I just noticed that in our lineup uh, of scheduled events that are sent out by your your staff, mm -hmm. and as well as some other staffs. Uh, but uh, that's going to be a really cool event. Mm -hmm. but you don't think water skiing in September, though? I know. So, but th the water's probably going to be warm. Look at it today. We're taping here uh, just the beginning of September, and it's probably 85 out. It's pretty warm, but. It, Forward. It'll be interesting. I mean, they all have those skiers. They start, you know, as soon as the ice off the water. I think they just have no fear of that water. And I know that our Wisconsin Rapids team has been practicing. And if any of you had gone to their ski shows on Sunday this year, you can hear them going across the water counting because they were counting out practice how long they had to hold that pyramid. And it's just going to be a cool sight to see. And I'm glad that our local team is involved this year. So yeah. it'd be really cool if we can they can beat their record, especially with a local team. And it just shows a lot for Lake Wazicha. It's just a perfect lake for aqua skiers to be able to do things. I mean, we host the you know, mm -hmm. largest water ski tournament championship in the world, and now they're coming back to use it for other things, so it's great. 
So is this the second time they've done this? Yes, they did this last year. Okay. Um, we weren't locally involved besides supporting it. Our okay. skiers didn't ski in it. So this year our skiers are one of the pyramids, which is really, really cool. Okay, so you're going to see people not just from maybe around the state of Wisconsin, but from all over, all that, over the Midwest. that build pyramids. They're all mm -hmm. going to come together as one large team. Mm -hmm. 72? Two. 72 that, people that, behind one boat. That, well, this boat must have four motors, it five has. motors. Three 300 horsepower Evinrude engines. Hey, that's a lot of a lot of people mm -hmm. to, to pull up. Yeah. 72 and a lot of ropes without tangle eye. I mean, there's so <laughs> much that goes into it. You yeah. say, even just, you know, obviously we all hope they're going to succeed, but yeah. it's not just the people in the pyramids that it takes. It's the drivers in the boats and the dock crews. All these people yeah. working together, it's going to be a sight to see. But it's a pretty much going to be a, uh, at, at least a most of a day event, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, you hope they get it up in the morning because right. it's tiring, I'm sure, on everybody right. participating in it. But I hope they get it up right away within the hour. That'd right. be pretty cool. Yeah, then they can be. go for it again. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that information. <laughs> I'm sure our viewers would like to know about that. Uh, free to come down? Uh, it's free to come down. There'll be different kay. things going on, and you yeah. don't want to miss it. Come on down. So, again, that's the 20th, the 20th of September. September. Yes. So, mark that as a calendar. Uh, final alarm ceremony. That's something the fire department does. It's every year. Uh, mm -hmm. They use the firefighters memorial mm -hmm. for that. Uh, just uh, just touch base maybe a little bit about that event. I'm not sure if you've been to it. I know we have. No, I have not. Um, and it's occurring October 11th. Okay. And I just know that it's a great opportunity, great honor to host the state memorial here. And I'm excited to actually hoping to be able to attend this year and actually experience it so I can have a better understanding. But I've been to the memorial numerous times and it's absolutely breathtaking, especially in the fall with all the colors. All right. Again, WIA State Cross Country Meet. That's mm -hmm. always held at the Ridges. Yes. And I'm not sure when it is, if it's uh, late October or early November, it kind of plays with that mm -hmm. weekend. I don't sometimes. have the dates on the top of my but head. It's but right in that area. It's right in that time. And that brings in a lot of uh, people yes. to our area, mm -hmm. and our hotels are booked. Mm -hmm. So, uh, good thing is uh, if anybody is uh, wants a hotel locally, is to get one now. Yes. Or you won't get one or mm -hmm. a space. And they may be blocked out already, and we have a True. lot of teams. Cross country is just a huge sport. Yeah. And I've been at that event a couple years with information about the area, and the people are just so nice and so excited to be here, and they really enjoy having it here locally. So it's nice. We're glad to have them. Alrighty. And then Alexander House has events all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right in Port Edwards. Yes. Uh, there's events going on right now, art exhibits, and the Cultural Center as well has mm -hmm. exhibits. So there's a lot of things for people yeah, to we do. We have a strong art community. Definitely, mm -hmm. and it's you know right here in our downtown here. Mm -hmm. It's a cultural center right across from us, uh, the museum across the river, mm -hmm. uh, Port Edwards over there. So there's a lot of uh, culture, a lot of real neat history. Point Bass, like we talked about earlier as well. So tons of events. If you don't see it, they don't see it all. They can go to the website. Yes, so that gets updated daily. People are able to submit things on a daily basis. So. Okay, and I know you know in the past year you've really changed a lot of your website. Mm -hmm. There's a list of a area of events that you can go right to, see mm -hmm. them all the way through. Uh, there's a lot of interactivity that you can get off the website uh, if you want to search, or if you don't want to, don't have a computer, pick up the phone Monday through Friday. Yes, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4:30. Okay. And if for some reason you miss us, leave us a message, we'll get back to you. There's yep. only two of us, so yep. sometimes we're out at events doing things. So. Yep, and sometimes you, the office has to be unattended. We all have to get that stuff done, mm -hmm. um, but you call them right back. And yeah, we're happy to hear yep. from them. All right. Anything else, Morgan, that you'd like to share uh, about any of the events? Uh, the pageant's coming up. we gotta, we got to talk about that for a minute, it's don't we? It's coming up. October 25th. My okay. rain is almost over. Yep. How, how, let's talk about that for a few minutes. Uh, how's that been going? Great. I mean, it's really helped with my job, actually, being okay. the marketing person for Visit Wisconsin Rapids. I've spent the year promoting everything to see and do, and it's allowed me to kind of have my fingertips on everything that's going on and make a ton of appearances as Miss Wisconsin Rapids this year. And it's been a great year, as, as you know, because we've known each other for a while. It was my fourth and final chance to hold that title, and that dream came true last year. And it's been an unbelievable year, and I'm sad to see it come to an end, but I'm very, very blessed that I got the opportunity to represent my hometown that's given me so much and everyone's been so supportive this year. Oh, well, great. So. Well, we're going to bring you back on and talk about what's going to happen in October. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just starting here in September, so we're, we're, we we're going to talk to Morgan about the pageant. She's going to be a big part of it here this year and uh, give us the insights of maybe what's going on and maybe uh, bring a few of the 
the contestants on mm -hmm. that maybe want to talk about it and uh, we'll, we'll do that this year so maybe a time in October but yeah. But events, that's what we're talking about here. Yeah. There is a ton of them. There's and, a ton. And it uh, keeps your guys' uh, office busy. So get out and enjoy this fall season. Uh, it's still summer here for the next two weeks, <laughs> technically. Technically. But uh, fall and the, you know, the leaves are going to start fall falling and then this is going to just feel right at home. So thank you so much for bringing all this information to people that may not get that we, we really do appreciate that thank you for having me I just want the community to use us as a resource you know not just for themselves but if you have visitors or no visitors let them know that we're available and we want to help them so that when they're here or when you, just when you live here that you make the most out of everything that's going on alrighty thanks again thank you